Still to come, growing a retirement nest egg. The plan to help small business employees in New York City. And we're about a million and a half private sector workers in New York City don't have access to retirement plans through their employers. Well, a new bill passed today in the city council would change that, and all it needs now is the mayor's signature. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has the details. I tell my employees all the time, I said, look, you should try to save your money. Now, Lead Sementilli's five employees at Total Care Pharmacy in the Bronx will have some help doing that. The New York City Council passed a bill mandating IRAs, or individual retirement accounts, for small businesses. Nearly half of New Yorkers who are retirement age have less than $10,000 saved up. It's city-sponsored for private sector employers who don't already offer a retirement plan and have five or more employees. Employees will be automatically enrolled with 5% of their wages going into their retirement fund. They can adjust that number or even opt out. Gig workers can opt in too. There will be no employer matching, no employer liability. All the employer is doing is facilitating the payroll deduction. Shane Hathaway, owner of Hold Fast and Hell's Kitchen, is excited for his employees and happy about no cost for the business after struggling during the pandemic. We've had enough costs as it is. But critics say this could mean employers who do offer a 401k might stop since with auto IRA, you don't match contributions. Beth Finkel with AARP says too many people depend on Social Security for retirement. $20,000 a year is what your average amount is that you get, but anyone who lives in New York City knows that that's not going to support your retirement. Council member Danique Miller believes this will particularly help communities of color who have seen average household wealth drop for decades. Over the next decade, it would almost be at net zero. And so this absolutely has to be done for people to have a quality of life. The mayor still has to sign it. Then it would go into effect in 90 days, but the Retirement Security Board would have up to two years to implement it. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Now, AARP says research shows there may be a small fee involved under $500 a year, no matter the number of employees. If you change jobs, you can also continue contributing or roll it over into another plan. A handful of states have similar plans in place. 